This week in the Missouri Senate, we review the first hearing held by the Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Illegal Immigration. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending the first meeting. The, of the panel held its first hearing on June 30th. Senator Committee Sir. Chair Senator Justin Brown of Rolla says the group is formed for a reason. Those who employ them are not following Missouri labor laws. These illegals are brought here and paid cash to send out of state and out of country. They are taking jobs from Missourians who live and want to work here. The state is not getting any benefit. The illegals are. The people who bring them here are the companies who hire them are. But the state isn't. The state is being cheated out of tax revenue and nothing is being paid into unemployment or workers' compensation. Illegal immigration has become a growing concern for many Missourians over the past few years. Senator Barbara Ann Washington of Kansas City, who served on the committee, says there is already a way for employers to check employees' immigration status. The E-Verify, that would be a program that employers would be able to use to verify that those undocumented or foreign persons are legal to work in the state of Missouri and in the United States. Would that provide an employer an opportunity to verify that those employees or potential employees are legal to work in the state of Missouri? And you said that that is free. At the same time, the U.S. has seen an increase of people coming from war-torn countries all over the globe. Senator Washington says these refugees should also be taken into account. People think that when folks come from another country, especially when they have refugees, that they're going to deplete our system and be socially dependent on the government and never work and be lazy. So can you talk a little bit about the restrictions they have when they're in refugee camp, how they're not able to work or whatever, and adjusting to that life when they come to a place like America or other countries that they're able to go to? Senator Brown says the Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Illegal Immigration plans to meet again, possibly as soon as later this month. This committee is formed to see what we can do to combat this problem. You know, I think Missouri's culture and policies are in place to help naturalize legal immigrants. We have a good process of naturalizing that population, and we want to try to do the best thing we can to combat the illegal part and and help the ones that are here not be abused and become good, productive citizens in the state. Also, legislation that was passed during this year's regular legislative session has been finalized ahead of the July 14th deadline. Among the measures that have been signed into law are topics that range from a sales tax exemption for World Cup soccer ticket sales to gambling boats in parts of our state. There have also been a number of proposals that have been vetoed by the governor, all of which could be revisited by the Missouri General Assembly during the annual veto session, which will be held in September. In all, four bills were rejected, not including line items in some of the appropriations measures for the new fiscal year. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a complete list of truly agreed to and finally passed legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.